it's on my side I think it's easy to use. We mustn't uh, be familiar with combustion IC engines, with, with uh, props and glow plugs and so on. Uh, how to start the engine, flicking by finger, or, or in, in, in uh, F2D it's forbidden to use an electric starter. So it's it's easier for for the beginner because <laughs> what was that? Yeah, safe. I said, uh, we have no air and oil pollution. It mustn't be a real advantage because we. I would accept it if I want to do it. Um, but uh, sometimes, if I if I want to fly the, the last minutes of uh, sun um, of sun, it's it's an advantage if I go from my factory to the flying field and mustn't uh, change clothes and have oily fingers. And <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not sure if it's an, a real advantage. We, it's easy uh, with the one-man launch. Um, I'm practicing the one-man launch also with F2D. It's possible. Um, I think the advantage here is I can start the motor when my um, hand is in the handle, and I'm have not a running engine in the, in the starting jig. Yeah. Um, I think it's also an advantage that the, the, if we make certain limits, so um, the power differences from one motor to the other are very small. So it's only small differences in the efficiency. The technology is, is not so critical uh, as with the IC engines, so where we need extremely high precision to get the high power output. And um, okay, for, for electric we need also a good adjustment of prop and battery and, and controller to, to produce the maximum power output with the minimum weight. <coughs> um, I would allow throttling <laughs> and if we do this um, it would add uh, dimension, dimension to the fight and I think it's also an advantage, we are limited in the power um, with the battery, so we could fly economic. And we, we could, we, we, we mustn't fly with full power um, before the fight is uh, started from the circuit margin. So we can save energy. Yeah. And also, if one model is on ground, the opponent mustn't fly full power. So I think throttling is a good solution and it's also a safety advantage if, for example, children or other people come into the circuit, we can switch off. Okay, the contrast uh, <laughs> is the uh, short flight time at full power. Um, and uh, we, we want to uh, work with small um, batteries because the weight is an disadvantage in tight turns. So um, the batteries are a little bit overloaded as, so in, in this way we, we use them and um, they show a, a degeneration. Um, we can work a little bit against this but I think um, it's uh, the batteries will be in the next years uh, Not a disposable, <laughs> but uh, um, in the competition we would try to, to use um, batteries with a low uh, use time, with a low uh, cycle time, I don't know, cycle time, right? <laughs> Which are used yeah. only for a few times. slides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Comparison, I fear I compared a standard F2D model with the electric control line combat model. I used this model, <laughs> so we see that the empty weight is nearly similar. The takeoff weight is 
the difference between uh, fuel and, and uh, battery weight. So this is the, the biggest disadvantage with the limited power. The speed is depends also in F2D on the on the motor prop uh, and also on the weather. Um, in electric, it's dependent on how fast would be um, empty our, our battery. Um, the flight duration is uh, standard in F2D is four to six minutes uh, in electric. It's dependent if I fly very slow, I can fly fifteen minutes. But if I fly, if I want to fly 22 seconds, the battery is empty in one minute. Um, the shut off is uh, in F2D. It's in the rules. An electric control line. It's in development. I think uh, the best solution for electric combat would be a um, throttle control and, and engine control over the wires. And if the wires break, there is no control, we can uh, set up the failsafe so the engine will shut down immediately. Um, but the problem is that uh, these components are not available now. So they have to be developed, they have to be tested, and they should be available for everyone who want to fly electric combat. So I think this will be always a problem and um, I think we, we should um, make rules which are open to say okay we start with a, a simple easy to use system which we can get in every hobby store and if we see um, at certain competitions uh, it's too extreme and we have a developed system which are transferring the signal over the wires and we can change the rules, I think. Um, shut off by wish is uh, in F2D. Um, it's in the rules since 2000, since this year, um, but it's not a force you should stop or land your model. You must be shut off. <laughs> And in electric, I would uh, prefer to make a throttle. With a timer, we, we wouldn't have this chance. <coughs> um, I fear a uh, um, selection of the, of the technical e combat char characteristics in our preliminary rule. Um, I took as most as possible the F2D rule. Um, I showed away what's not um, necessary for electric and I took from, from F2G, it's electric speed, the 42 volt limit. So maybe we can reduce this, but I think uh, 42 volts are safe. It's only for safety, so 42 volts. Um, in this rule I thought we should uh, limit, like F2D, the, the weight uh, of the motor and the, the maximum power. So I, I thought it um, could be a rule where we define the magnetic volume and uh, stop. Um, I think we are, we are limited with the power in a certain magnetic volume. So. Um, but we are not restricted with the power, so it depends on the efficiency, <laughs> how much power the, the um, motor will, will bear until it burns down. And depend, it's also dependent on the cooling. So I do not want to make restrictions which are um, too hard to, to avoid any... Um, okay. Hmm? Progress. I need progress, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, it's, about, uh, it's mainly the, the limit of, of the motor. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. Here's uh, again uh, um, the, the magnetic volume described. It's 45 millimeter diameter and 
15 mm magnetic length. Um, the motors we can buy uh, have a weight of about 100 to 110 grams. So it's, it's I think, I thought, uh, as I made this rule, this could be a good weight limit for, for F2D to use, uh, for, for electric combat to use F2D models to, to work with a F2D model which, which is light enough to fly tight maneuvers. So I thought it's good to limit the motor and we have to add the controller and then the battery and so we are at the end a little bit heavier than a F2D model and at the time I, I thought about the rule I was not able to imagine that we would fly as fast as a F2D so it's... Ah, <laughs> I'm happy. Um, Normally there is a big variety to choose the motor. Um, there are in-runner, out-runners, the number of poles, number of windings, voltage and the propeller, um, the load of the motor. Um, I think the, the out-runners has a big advantage that we can work without um, mechanical gear to reduce the RPM. Um, the outrunner has a uh, higher um, torque to drive the prop direct and to um, limit the, the RPM and, and all the noise. Um, yeah, the setup which is uh, successful is a motor with 102 to 108 gram. The motors have 10 to 14 magnets. You see it. The picture here. There are the, the magnets. <coughs> they are um, filled. The gaps are filled with, with, with glue to make it more robust. Um, we can buy the single components with um, special winding number, um, and there are many motors we can um, buy with a certain. It's called KV number, it's uh, RPM per volt. It's about 1400 to 1800 RPM per volt. It's, yeah, it's a good, uh, good range, in, in my opinion. <coughs> the maximum power from these motors is about 300 to 700 Watt. And the RPM range is 12,000 to 20,000. But 20,000 is starts to get loud. It's uh, set up with uh, this motor um, and uh, four cells. It has uh, I think 1700 kV with 16 volt. Then we are in the range of 12,000. And it's, yeah, <laughs> we can, maybe Henning has a, a dB meter so we can make noise measurements. It would be interesting. And so we, we can decide maybe we um, make a smaller uh, RPM limit in the rules, for example. Um, the development potential is they are, uh, uh, is existing. Um, we can try to optimize the efficiency. We mustn't uh, build new motors or. Uh, invent every anything new, but we have to um, make the, the best selection of voltage, number of turns and um, yeah, prop diameter <laughs> um, to, to, to fly with the, the maximum efficiency. We can see um, measurements here. Um, this is uh, measurement curves from this motor. I have um, one curve with a 10 volt with 14 poles. It's a black curve, this one. Um, it's a low uh, running setup, uh, low RPM setup. We see it um, with a dark curve here. RPM 
is on this side, um, if we say we want to have 700 watts, we are on a with the RPM of about, no, we, <laughs> we should, um, but yeah, we are about uh, yeah, 12 to 13,000 RPM. Um, if I compare to the motor with uh, 10 magnets, uh, 4 magnets less, um, at the same voltage, then I have the light green, it's here, so I have a better efficiency at the, at, the, at the certain power I want to use, but I have also a higher RPM, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's this curve, and we are in the range of 16,000 RPM, it's higher, and uh, if we use a magnet with 14 poles, the system which has a lower RPM but works with 13.3 volt, then we have a gain in efficiency, and it's I think it's a lot from from 70 to 74 percent. And um, on the other hand, we have a RPM um, of over. 17,000. So the RPM is higher, and <clears throat> at the moment with this existing system, I am working with 10 poles, and uh, also the 13.3 volt. So the efficiency curve is the, has its, its maximum in this range, but uh, the RPM curve is here. So we are in the range of 20,000 with, uh, with the RPM. So maybe. Uh, if we have uh, make a limitation in the rules, um, we look for a higher magnet number or higher a lot of uh, some times more in the vending. Um, when we when we have optimized the efficiency, we will get uh, lower stress for the battery, longer flight time, and the motor is not <laughs> not so close to its limit. We are, uh, we are at the moment flying at the limit of the controller and the mode and the battery. But we want to do this. <laughs> um, the propeller selection um, depends on the motor setup. So we can, uh, we can choose the maximum power um, with the propeller. So if we have a certain setup, then we we, we use props with different uh, diameter and, and pitch to 